Hey hey! The last digit of your like on this video by each who you are from Melon Playground, and the last digit of your subscription to my channel will show your Melon Playground item. So go down right now, subscribe and give me a like. Look at the screen. Notice the last digit of your like and your subscription and write in the comments who you are from Melon Playground. It's simple, if your like is number 8 and the last digit of your subscription is number 5, you're a lemon and a cactus. Show your imagination and enjoy the show. And hello to all dear friends. In this video, we're going to talk about the cons and pros of the 22.0 update in Melon Playground. But before we start the video, I want to say a huge thank you to these guys, my subscribers, for participating in my videos. If you want to be in my next video, it's very easy. You need to put a like, subscribe to my channel, and write a cool comment of at least four words or more. Either way, I won't waste your time and have fun watching it. Update 22.0 is one of the most controversial updates in recent times, and there are a number of reasons for this which we will talk about today. These are the pros and cons of Update 22.0. And perhaps we will start with the cons because today it seems to me there are much more of them. And the first minus is global. That is, in fact, added only a workshop and added donation. Yes, in general it may be cool, perhaps somewhere useful, but let's face it. And workshop in Chalk Playground? In fact, you do not need, what do we add there, just our work which we can publish in various Telegram channels, for example. In my Telegram channel, you can publish your mods and constructions, and there you get probably even more publicity. Because at the moment, I have about 1,000 views on the post. By the way, the link is in the description. That is essentially a workshop you and you and you do not need. The maximum that you can get from it, it is some minimal constructions and mods that you can get first. Even in the official Telegram channel from the developers, they are often published there, and various mods and constructions. Well, and in principle on various public eye and other Telegram channels and so on. In general, in fact, in fact there are a lot of them. And it turns out that the workshop is actually... That's the biggest problem, because what can we get out of a workshop? We can't get something unique. That's primarily what we use these kinds of venues for. We want to get something unique differentiated from other people. But when you go into a workshop, you can get that for free practically. Because the market, first of all, it's not valued. Nobody wants to pay for some mods and builds in Melon Playground. Let's be honest. I personally would never give money to create something. And first of all, people come to Melon Playground to create something themselves. It's not a typical Minecraft type story. I mean, it's actually not like a Minecraft-type sandbox at all. Melon Playground is a very unique game, and how it got its success is also, I think, deserves a separate video, because Melon Playground is not. Thanks to, it is more in speed of various consequences of various currents, it is in general in fact a unique story, and in fact players come there just as if to relax to meditate. But not that. You donate there and download other people's buildings and mods. It is not about it at all but maybe the developers. First of all, they want to make online. If they create a workshop, the workshop suspects some kind of local theme to play among themselves, with friends and so on. If they don't create any online mode, they don't have players together to somehow do something and create something, then essentially the workshop is about as useless a thing as you can get. And that's its main downside in Update 22.0. Not so much the globality of it, but really, it's just uselessness. And let's move smoothly to the second minus. It is, of course, donate. Donation is always bad. But if this donation would be some really reasonable, it would still be understandable. Why we have to get any buildings published in the workshop donation currency. Or for watching ads, just think about it. It turns into some really donated dump. And why can't we just publish our works for free? Or rather, we can publish them for free. But other players can get this build only for watching a long advert in the interval of 30-40 seconds. It's just really some unbelievable numbers. Donation had a place if you could monetize that donated currency in any way. I mean, I'll explain. You sell your cool, really unique build or mod, people buy it, and then you monetize that money into real money. I mean, that's something I can still somehow understand. But I refuse to understand the fact that if you somehow get donate currency, 
without throwing real money into it, that is, selling their buildings, coins, only to buy various other mods or buildings, is just absurd. If you are a cool creator, you do not need someone else's building or someone else's mod, is just stupidity. And then, in essence, need and donate. Absolutely no, really. Coins useless. If the developers offered for coins some unique skins, here is a very cool concept of donations. And in principle, game currency is in Counter-Strike 2, in the same in Standoff 2. When you for money you get some unique toy, some unique gun, some unique gun, skin on it, keychain, sticker and so on, and then you, and so on. This is a real example of good monetization of your game. But when you make a donation that is absolutely useless, I refuse to understand it. And okay, there was Melon Playground. It was impossible to do that. I mean, donation that players would really need, but I'll just give you a very simple example when you can do something unique. Number one, you can add a totally unique transport. There's no way you can add transport as a mode or a build. Yes, you can make something up, but it's not going to be anything like the unique transport that's in Melon Playground. You can make skins for that transport. It's very simple, skins just on the transport, really. Adding more transport, more uniqueness, and adding skins on these transports, selling for these same coins, and then everyone will have an incentive to create and buy and donate. Personally, I would like to get myself something unique. Let's say the Jeep would be not just green and some in some white and black coloring, for example. Something really stylish and beautiful. For my videos to basically dilute basically all this interesting movement stuff would be really cool. If developers, you're watching me, think about just what you're doing. At this point, the workshop and the donation is basically, it's useless. As much as it can be. And so, realistically, there's a bunch of things that you can make unique in Melon Playground, because sandbox mode, it's basically infinite. You can add more vehicles, more unique textures that different players can't add as mods or builds, and on that, you can add skins or different buffs and chips and so on. Here's an example. Uniqueness, and why not realize it in the form of donation? But workshop and donation is very stupid. Write in the comments what you think about it, how do you like my idea to add skins on transport? I think it would be interesting to absolutely everyone. You could add even a case in roulette. In general, you can develop this topic endlessly, and how to implement it too can be invented endlessly, and it really would be cool. Perhaps the developers have not even thought through the concept of workshop, as far as he really will be interesting, but, so far, it is actually a failure, and this is its second minus donat is just not that the second is the most important minus at this time. Well, and the third minus is quite trivial, but at this time it is so, it is a huge number of different bugs that really break the game. There are a lot of problems with the Edison lamp and in principle with lighting, which before worked just fine. But for some reason, with this update came new problems with lighting. Personally, I have them. Write in the comments what other bugs you have met. At this time, they are actually a lot. Bugs with the Hoover, the same. Bugs with transport. Bugs with the truck, too, by the way, with the last one that came out. In general, the problems are enough, and this is also actually a minus, which beats absolutely strongly on the reputation of Melon Playground. Well, we will smoothly move to the pluses, which are also incidentally there. Developers began to think a little in the right direction. It is a system of accounts. That is, now everyone is essentially unique in the game. You can create your own account with your nickname, make there a password, and in general, it will be only your unique account with its buildings, mods, and you will always keep everything. Nothing will be deleted. So if you have already downloaded the update, it's really very useful. That's what the developers really tried to do. And it was a very correct and logical decision to roll out a new workshop, along with new unique accounts that you can register, create Utonics. Basically, I think everyone has seen videos about it, including my videos you've definitely seen. I think you're my loyal subscribers, definitely watch all my videos. And so, the account system is actually a very useful and cool thing. 
Well, from the account system came the new band system, which is actually very cool. And I think it's a very, really, really useful thing, because if you violate the Chalk Playground community policy, you can easily get banned. For example, there are people who constantly steal other people's builds and constantly award themselves other people's merits. Thus, they violate the law on copyright, but before that, they were not in any way before. Punished now, absolutely. Everyone who will violate these laws, you can firstly make a complaint, and secondly, you can punish the person who violates your rights, and punished will be a severe ban at the same time. He will lose all the donate on his account. He will lose all his mods and all his buildings. Yes, God's system is still a little crooked in terms of the fact that even if a person you're building and will be banned, then in any case he will be able to create a new account and repeat this. But this is just a problem with our community, not a problem with the ban or account system in general. I think the ban and account system is a great thing. And strangely enough, this is where the pluses end. That is, in fact, the only good thing that came in this update is accounts and bans. But nothing. We are waiting for the next update, which promises to be very interesting. Well, this is the end of my video. Thank you all for watching. Good luck to everyone. Goodbye and remember, mate. As always, see you the other day.